This is a toilet that is out of order. <laughs> You're out of order. This whole toilet is out of order. Which is my, I'm out of order. This cord is out of order. This entire toilet is out of order. That's my reference. Whatever. They said it would be six hundred and I think fifty dollars to fix it. So I went to Home Depot and I purchased the thing. It's different. Um, what I did was I took a picture of this using Google. I copied the text and searched for um, for the flush valve. I purchased it for twenty one dollars. Now let's see if I can put it together. It's rusted down there where it's got these gaskets. This is not going to be easy for me, um, but it's not going to cost me $650. And if I can't do it, I'm out a couple hours of my time and um, then I'll go pay someone $650. What I've done to help protect from what's going to happen once I um, screw these off, some of the water's going to come off, come out. I put puppy pads down and cups under where I hope most of the water will spill. I could have used towels, um, but this is cheaper and I don't have to clean them. I've already turned off the water, so there's really a pretty limited amount of water that's going to come out. What I don't have is a screwdriver that's going to be big enough, I think. I have that. I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work, um, I know I have things at my house that will that I believe will work, like a chisel, for example. Anyway, I did put towels down in case of some weird emergency. Also. So I can be seated comfortably while I try this. I've got an hour before I really just need to leave to go get a kid. So if I can't figure it out, I have included the owner's manual to it with my stuff. I'll read it later and maybe I'll come back better prepared. Here we go. I got two cups and I have been able to loosen this, um, down here. I loosen it and the water starts coming out. So I'm holding one cup underneath it until I can feel that that cup is getting a little full. Um, then I'm just emptying it into this sink that the bathroom has. When it was going harder, I was um, switching each cup out a little faster. What I wanted to show you more than, than that is a trick on how to get water um, without spilling it if you're blind or in the dark is you put your finger into the cup um, and then when you fill it, start filling it up, you'll feel the water or whatever the liquid is hit your finger. Um, so if you're blind, you can use that trick. You might think blind people can't see, but my blind father disagrees because he can see a little. But that's one way to, to not spill if you want to get a drink of water in the middle of the night without turning on the lights. Okay. A lot of people think that this part of plumbing is really dirty, but when was the last time you took a bowel movement in the tank of your toilet? Like, I mean, you could do that as a terrible trick to play on someone, but um, the back, the tank of the toilet is not filthy. So that's why I'm not wearing gloves. It's easier to work this way. I might just want to wear gloves so that I don't get my skin too dry, but all right. There's no way that I'm going to complete this today, but I do feel more confident um, than I did 20 minutes ago. Okay, Siri, stop recording. I talked to my mom earlier about it. I talked to my dad when the plumber said 650 and my dad was like, do it yourself. And I was like, oh, I haven't done, I haven't done this. I've, I've replaced the interior of other kinds of toilet pieces. This is just harder. And he was like, well, I'll do it, blah, 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 whatever, you know, like he offered to help. He's going to visit. Anyway, he was right. It, it, it was just too expensive. So I told the plumber, go away. I canceled. The appointment. I talked to my mom later about some other stuff and told her I was going to try to do this. And she said, well, remember to, un to unscrew the water um, from the tent. And I interrupted her. I was like, mom, mom, I know to turn the water off. I already did that. I'm not a moron. Uh, not that you're a moron if you forget to turn the water off here. But I realized she meant 
from the tank, not just turn it off like when the toilet's running. We all know how to do. I just spent a full 10 seconds trying to figure out what part of the tank was stuck on. And it was that part that she told me about. And I was snippy. Downright snippy. So don't forget to 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 uh, unscrew this this uh, part from the tank, which is what she said. And I just thought, why doesn't she know how to say turn off the water? All right, sorry, mom. It's rusted, so I can't close the water off all the way. So I'm just gonna have to keep moving that bu <laughs> that bucket. I, I guess uh, if I get to a point where I've just got to go, I will. Uh, oh, I'll route it back into the toilet. Let's hope we, let's hope we don't get there. Situation now. I got the back of the toilet tank off. Let me see if I can get something to try harder to close that water source. And I've got the new gasket here that should be able to seal it up. Um, and I've got the other parts. I need to attach it back on, and I definitely want to prioritize getting the toilet back on before I prioritize getting the remainder of the pieces in. I guess this part I'm gonna have to, not have to, but I want to get that part in before I put the toilet I don't seat have the back. Physical on. strength or the tools to remove this piece of plastic and replace it with a new one, but it suffered no damage. It's the gasket. It's the problem, so new gasket going on, and I'm going to leave on the old One hour and 15 minutes after I got here, I'm at a place where I've taken the toilet tank off, I've put the gasket on the bottom, I've uh, reattached the toilet tank, I've reattached the water that I was so ridiculous to my mother about saying I'm not a moron, because I'm a moron. Um, I'm not a moron. Anyway, uh, I've got... I've got a situation where I think I can flush the toilet. I've got 10 minutes before I gotta go. I'm gonna turn the water on and see what happens. Well, am I gonna turn the water on? There we go, okay. Damn, I'm just not that strong. Uh, I'm gonna pour some of the water that I caught in there. You know, reduce, reuse, or cycle. Got towels around, I've got an emergency backup. A uh, bucket of towels. I've got a weird ass amusing emergency uh, backup pool noodle in case I need to make a retaining wall around the bathroom. That was just for the sake of humor that I, I grabbed pool noodles and duct tape, or not duct tape. Um, so, here we go. Hurry this up. I'm gonna pour some of the water I saved from my sink in. All right. Now it stopped. Uh, let me put the toilet tank back on. <clears throat> Moment of information. seven minutes before I need to go and I don't think I'm gonna need to replace the other parts because the plumber said that was what was broken oh I uh, victory laughed too soon second time I flushed it water came out I don't know what I did wrong but I am out of time for the day so I've put down more puppy pads and then I put down uh, green tissue paper not because I'm trying to be festive but because I want it to show up on video where the water comes out my theory is that the gasket is okay that's in going in the gasket is okay that is here however i think that this gasket under here is just too loose which wouldn't be a surprise this was the hardest for me to reach i think that's where the problem is i'm gonna flush it again a little bit so i lose less water 
Um, I turned off the water at the source here. It's dripping slightly. So it's got to pop that under it. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. What did I do wrong? Oh, I didn't fill the toilet up enough. Oh, it's filled up enough for me to flush to see what I did wrong. Let's see. See where it's coming out. It didn't come out there. That was when I was filling the water up. And it's not coming out. Oh. Well, I'm a jiggy. It's dripping here. Let me wipe it up there and try one more time. To make sure that I'm probably right about where I was wrong. Okay. So, that water is moved the cleaning pad, the clean puppy pad down. Oh. Let's reset and again. Up. Reset up. Uh, this area is mostly dry, a couple drips there so far, but that, that was just from refilling the tank. Here we go. Let's see what happens. It's fine there, it's fine at the gasket. I've kept, kept it off, but I think I, I think I know what I did wrong. Time to get a kid!